Hey y'all, so welcome back. I have been MIA for a little bit, <laughs> um, or for a long time, and I just wanted to come on here and explain and tell you why I chose to compete in a figure competition in September. Sorry, the lighting is probably horrible. There's like a light right there. <laughs> Anyways. So I wrote down some stuff that I wanted to share with y'all um, as to why I chose to compete and some of the struggles and I guess not struggles, but what's the hardest part about competing so far. Um, today I'm 10 weeks out from my first competition, um, September the 26th and it's in Daytona. So if you're going, I'll see you there. <laughs> but um, so yeah. I'm trying to go rush to this video because I do have to go work out in like 20 minutes. So, why I chose to compete is probably one reason is I've always wanted to do it. It's always been in the back of my head. I'm so intrigued by the whole process of the prep and working out and being on stage. And I'm just fascinated by it. So, that's one of the reasons I've done it because I've always wanted to do it. And I also love a challenge. And it kind of goes hand in hand with, um, it's just a new goal that I set, but I love new goals and I love a challenge and I like reaching those goals and challenges. And nothing pushes me more than a goal or challenge I set for myself. And me and my sister was talking about, about it one day and she's like, hey, I found a coach. Do you wanna do you wanna do it? I'm like, heck yeah. So I was super excited when she is actually going through prep with me. Um, she's doing bikini, I'm doing figure. So yeah. And I also another reason is I Hello want to guys. <laughs> I also want to see um, how far my body will go. How far I can take it and how far I can push it and I how it. <laughs> and how far it can or it will transform into yeah. um, competition day just to watch it go from bad <laughs> not necessarily, necessarily say bad but just to watch it go from point A to point B um, through the whole transition I'm amazed by what even nutrition can do for your body um, let's see. Sorry, I had a right list. Water is good for your body. That's right. Water is good for your body. And I have to drink a lot of it. So, I'm always in the bathroom. And I always miss my tracking because somebody drinks my water. <laughs> yeah, I drank all of it last night. <laughs> um, and one of the other reasons that I just want to prove myself that I can do it. I want to prove that I'm dedicated enough and that I can accomplish this. And that that I'm not going to quit. Like, I'm not going to quit because of the fear, because I'm scared, I'm not good enough. Um, I just want to look back and say, you know what, I did that at least once. Like, I was on stage and, and I transformed just good enough or good enough to be up there with everybody else. Yeah. I know that sounds crazy, but that's really why yeah, I want to do it. Um, and lastly, I just want to inspire people. Um, other women are men, but you know, I just figured I would inspire more women to chase their goals, to chase, chase their dreams. Um, if you want to do it, do it, you know, what's holding you back. So I just want to share with you my whole process through this prep and through the transition and what I, you know, do to get where I need to be for the stage. Like, I just want to Show people that you can do it once you you can do it once you set your mind to it. You can do anything you want to do, um, even if it's not fit. Anything you want to do, even if it's not fitness related. And I do have a Facebook page. I will link an Instagram if you want to follow my journey on there. Um, I do post a lot um, on on those websites. So yeah. Um, and probably the hardest thing that I face with prep, or I guess probably some people or most people do, is patience. I'm not a patient person, if you know me. I should just stop and trust the process. 
Um, stop worrying if things going to be okay. <laughs> but I'm just not patient. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, am I not going to be good enough? Is my muscles not going to show like I want them to show? But it's all right. Sorry, my eye itches. I guess that goes into saying, um, judging my transformation with other girls who are 10 weeks out. And like, I look at some of them, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, they're so ripped. They're so, um, toned up. And, oh gosh, I'm gonna, and I'm judging, you know, like, myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna be ready. Like, if they're, like, looking like that, and I'm not, <laughs> but I know everybody's, body's different and I just had to stop and say Jessica you got this we have 10 weeks out it's grind time we're going to get it and when I look back like some of these girls have been doing it for years so their body's already adapted already know you know what the deal is and they stay pretty much solid you know all the time and so yeah I just have to just step back pray and think everything's going to be okay um Staying consistent is a one. Like, I want to so bad think just one hamburger. Like, it's not going to be a big deal, right? Uh, but I can't. And I really have to thank my better half, AJ, for actually keeping me consistent. Because sometimes I just want to be like, I'm going to have that piece of cake. And he's like, no, you're not. Remember. <laughs> Which I never do. So, I'm thankful for that. Because... He really keeps me on track, even if I want to get off of it, because it's so hard um, watching everybody engorge off things they love, and I'm over here eating fish and rice. <laughs> but I have to think, like, I have somewhere um, or something to gain. I have to be on stage in 10 weeks, like, cut the bull. Like, I can't eat that stuff. So, yeah. And really, in prep, you have to be dedicated and I, and I think I am, like, I have, and I'm not a cooker, like, I don't want to cook every day, don't want to, you know, plan meals every day, and that's literally what I'm doing, I'm having to get up, if I go work out at 5.15, come home, cook breakfast for me, um, prepare a snack, lunch, supper, I mean, I have to prepare all this stuff, so that's been a big change, um, for me anyway, but thankfully, they're not, they're short and sweet meals, like, there's nothing really too tedious about it but and one of the other um struggles or the hardest things that I face in prep or even competing competing is scared that I'm not good enough I think we all as females probably can relate to this is am I gonna be good enough for stage am I gonna look like a total cow up there beside all these girls on stage and really that's you know what I struggle with so I push myself hard because I want to be good enough. Like, I want to be able to go on stage and say, yeah, you know, I've done this. And, I don't know what that was. Anyways, so, yeah. I just have to sit back and say, I am good enough. Regardless that my regardless that my body doesn't look like hers, my body is my body. My body's not going to look like your body, her body, that body. So, that's why I have to step back and think, hey, I'm unique. You're unique. We're all unique. Or all of our bodies are going to look different. All of our abs are going to look different. Shoulders are going to look different. So, I really have to step back a lot and think, you got this, Jessica. You're not giving up. You're going to do good. So, yeah. But anyways, that's why I want to come on and tell tell y'all and, and just express why I wanted to compete and the struggles I face. And I'm going to take you along with me on my workout. It's not too bad today. Um, and I'm hoping to check in weekly with y'all, keep y'all updated on my um, transformation. And by 10 weeks, take y'all along to Daytona with me. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Well, let's go get dressed and go start working out. Okay, I'm here and I have my BCAAs full of energy and water and I don't leave without my <clears throat> sweet sweat makes me sweat so bad and so yeah um time to hit it get my earphones that's a must 
See you inside. <laughs> Delma workout. I am soaked. As you can tell, it is flooding here. Severe thunderstorm warning. <sighs> so yeah, I'm headed home to cook me some dinner. I'm starving. My abs are hurting. I'm tired. I'm soaked, but it felt good because I was hot. Everyone's standing out at the door. Planet Fitness. I'm like, shoot. I ain't staying here no longer. <laughs> Got to go. So yeah. Did some abs, ran walk three miles on the incline. Whew, I'm hot. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm hoping to um, post a video next week. Try to do it every week until um, the contest. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great night.